Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Garnets and Goldings Farms, located in Henrico County, Virginia, on June 27th and 28th, 1862. The Battle of Gaines Mill left most of Richmond defenseless, with only the divisions of Confederate General Huger, John B. Magruder, Lafayette McClaws, and D.R. Jones to guard all of Richmond. During this time, Union forces used a ravine situated between J.M. M. Garnet's farm near the Old Tavern, located on the Chicomany River, and the Goldings Plain farm belonging to Simon Goulden to set up the Union presence. The soldiers from Brigadier General William T.H. Brooks' brigade began unlimbering artillery pieces for the next day's battle. Confederate soldiers belonging to Major General David R. Jones' division began taking up positions across from the Union troops on the west side of the ravine. The Confederate artillery was ordered to fire on the Union soldiers whenever they could see them and waited for their chance. Meanwhile, the Union troops were told to avoid conflict with the Confederates and to wait upcoming orders. However, an artillery duel did occur later in the day, lasted for about an hour, and it consisted of 10 Confederate artillery pieces versus 23 Union guns. The Union handily pushed back the Confederate forces, forcing the artillery to retreat after an hour. Later that day, Confederate troops under the command of Major General Lafayette McClaw advanced towards the Union line at Garnett Farm at about 4 p.m. The Union artillery let loose another barrage, forcing the Confederates to retreat after about 10 minutes. Then an additional attack occurred about 7 p.m., commanded by Confederate General Robert Toombs, who was ordered to scout the enemy position in force. Instead of scouting, General Toombs outright attacked the position, but was repelled by the Union troops of Winfield Hancock's brigade. During the following day, on the 28th, the Union and Confederate soldiers fought again for a few hours. The Confederate command believed the Union was retreating and ordered Confederate General Toombs to once again scout the area. Now don't hold your breath, but once again, as history tends to repeat itself, Toombs did not scout. Instead, he attacked. By the time the Confederate command could order Toombs to stop, the Union troops had already once again pushed back the Confederates. While the Confederate attacks at the house were defeated, the attack convinced Union Commander McClellan that the Confederates were attacking fully from this side as well as from Gaines Mills. This encouraged McClellan to believe that Richmond could not be invaded and thereby pulling the Union forces back. The engagement was lost by the Confederate Army, but the overall seven days battles was won because of this action. The final casualties were 438 Confederate killed, wounded, and missing, while the Union soldiers only suffered 189 killed, wounded, and missing. Please join us next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.